Hi, Sage here. Uh, I've had some requests to talk about the side project that I'm doing. I mention it. I say that I peck away at it here and there. So I'm going to do a full video and upload it to YouTube so that everyone can see what I've been working on on the side while stuff's been rendering, while um, I couldn't focus on my main project that I'm currently working on. So let's go ahead and get into it and uh, click the start. So shoot, I need to hurry up or I'll end up being late. Completely AI voice acted. So that's under, uh, that's already been implemented. I already got the voices picked out for all the characters and, <clears throat> and that sort I of number. I to warn you, not my, what the hell is this all so, about? Let's see, uh, here's your name. Same basic nice stuff that any you. virtual novel has, right? But I'm making this more like an RPG heavy element, that sort of number. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tweaking, a lot of work to do regarding that because just the littlest of number differences just boom, throws stuff out of proportion, right? So here is how you move about. So you can see it is the date. This is the date in the year 3000, right? So instead of month, the, this is what it's named. So like January would be Meridian, right? <clears throat> I still kept with the days as in didn't name it something else because it just makes it easier so people know what actual day it is. But I was tempted to actually change that as well. You can see the time. And as you can, uh, we can leave this area and go to the Academy map, but you should get dressed before leaving. So it does not let you leave your room until you get dressed. So here we go. Here's uh, here's the entrance. This is how you move move about. So I decided to go with this format. It took a lot of tweaking over shoot months to get a good setup of how I wanted to do this, and you'll understand why in a little while too. Uh, so I decided to put it over here in this corner. Originally it was over here, but then it looked ugly because I needed the time and stuff and it was across here. I did not like that. And there's a reason why it's kind of moved over here as well. So let me go ahead and uh, open up the control panel and let's say mc.food equals 25, right? So let's just do this as an example. Boom. And now an icon comes up here saying low food. And the same thing happens with water and energy. So let's change, let's do this uh, energy and also water. So there's low water, low food. Oh, sorry. There is no energy in, in this game. It's stamina. There we go. Bam, low stamina. So that's why I moved it over a little bit so you can see these icons that will pop up. To let you know that you need to eat, drink, or sleep to get some energy back. Because the only other way is to look in the stats. And I found that very inconvenient. So I try to make things a little bit more convenient. Let me roll back just one second. Just so that goes away. Because that annoys me. <clears throat> so we have to get dressed. So here we are in the wardrobe. And this is the changing of outfits. Bam, 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 bam. So that is how you change outfits. To go back. And now we can go to Dragon Spire Academy. And here is the menu for Dragon Spire Academy, which is where it um, takes place. I will go into detail on this in a second. First, I want to get the other icon, which is your character stats. That cannot be done until you selected your class. So there's classes in this game as well. So we go here, start this quest, and then you can choose between a warrior, a rogue, or a magician. I've been doing all my testing with magician, so for the sake of this video, because I've not tested rogue or warrior, uh, I'm going to go with magician to make sure it all uh, goes smoothly. There. That did it. So we're going to go ahead and skip through all this real quick. I added some pretty cool animations kind to of this. It's uh, I'll show you precisely. one. Figures. Ruining. You should be sure to plan a call. Are you I guess. Let's get this over. Follow like me this. Then. Boom. I really like those type of animations. And here we are. I'll have to fix that. Your I don't like those blinks. Will be Miss Grimston. <laughs> so after you complete a quest, because this was the first quest, bam, quest complete. Yay. So 
there's 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 that now i got both my icons so let's go ahead and start with the character icon which i kind of went over in a short but i was trying to get it under 60 seconds so i'm going to go more into detail here's your hp mp stamina food and water attack magic power defense magic defense and speed uh these will be dictated by what current gear you have which i still have not implemented I, there's a lot of work to do with that thank you green arrow because green arrow is helping with all this coding so bless his heart um because it is a lot of work uh eventually this will all get sorted out from that here's your money it's going to be called glint glint is money in this game it keeps track of and, and this right here keeps track of your uh experience to get to the next level and um this also goes up based on what class you picked this image changes based off of what you're wearing as well. A lot of little things I have to keep in mind when doing some of this. And then here is the quest log. So uh, if you click on your main character, that is the main um, main quest that you have going on, right? Uh, side quest is implemented, but not quite yet. You can see there's a corruption level. There's also, if you click on this icon, this is completed quest. This is current quest. So this is the quest where it went quest complete. Talk to Miss Meadow. So that's what that was for. Um, it also shows the location that you're at other than, you know, the MC. So currently she is in Meadow's office. And this makes it so that you're not guessing and you're looking around like, blah, blah, blah. so it, it gives you all the information that you need in the quest log. If you're trying to do uh, someone's particular quest, uh, when they're made available in the combat class, in the history class, in the library. Uh, she's also in the library. She's a combat class. And there's more characters that will be available. As you can tell, here's one right there. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many people I'm going to have in here, but I got plans for a lot right now. So let's go ahead and get, uh, get out of that. Uh, Green Arrow has coded a mini game, which is awesome. Uh, there's still a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done because, we, again, we don't have Glint. Uh, implemented because Glint's part of the item system. So once we get the item system in, it'll be completely um, tied in. So let's go to the back of the library. Boom. And this is why I chose to put the icons down here because you can talk to people and you can also work in the library. So uh, I have icons here and if there's a lot of people, I have them going up here, right? So I was just trying to save some some space. You know, if, if you... It, it, there's just very limited space, so I'm trying to condense it. I didn't want to make these icons too small, though, so that's why I chose this size icon. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. I like the whole, like, rounded edges and stuff, but if you want to... I think I got a placeholder here, so bam, it's holding, and everywhere you can talk to them, they have a blinking animation. I got quite a few of those across the whole game already. Uh, now let's go ahead and click work in the library so basically when i click on this what you're going to be doing is putting the books in alphabetical order it chooses uh five random books that you got to place in order so here is i c here's an a uh here's a c here's a b and you can hear the little thing going dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee. and then when you win and it'll give you money so that is the mini game and you can do that once per day to earn money because there is going to be rent due every week and um or loans whatever you want to call it plus you you need money to get gear items there's going to be some uh there's also going to be alchemy i just have not started on that let me go back to the room uh, i think it's called bot alchemy set equals true yes so here's the alchemy table so you can buy an alchemy table then obviously and now you can do all your alchemy in your room and I have not done anything on this quite yet. It's another thing. This is all just a placeholder to get it working. So over here, you can see brew potions. So we can click on that. And it brings up this menu. This is a placeholder. So it'll be the ones that you can actually brew because you have the items. It'll be um, like this. But if you don't have the items, it'll be dark, right? So that, and it'll say what, what the potion is, that kind of stuff. So uh, there is going to be an alchemy in here as well. So let's go head and i'm not gonna do oh here in the mess hall you can go to the middle and you can eat and i could also like speak to clover i hopefully it doesn't crash okay holding that's cool and then blink animation um but you can eat and you can eat free once per day and it gives 50 energy i i think it's 50 energy it might be 30 i can't remember and then also the same for food and water granted if you do need to eat again you can but it's going to cost you more glint because you get one free meal a day so there's uh, there's that implemented. Granted, I 
almost implemented because if you want to do it a second time, you can't because you need to glint naturally. So uh, that'll be tied in shortly. So let's go into the combat. Bam. So here is the combat. Here is your HP. Here is MP. You have attack. Here's your magics. Items. But again, items is not tied into this. You can't escape from this fight. But if you could, that would be how you run. You have to click on begin fight. So I'm going to have to get it to where this does not pop up. Any of the UI doesn't pop up until you hit begin fight. I'll have to tie that in somehow. I have to ask Green Arrow. But if you do magic, you will see a blue number right here. So uh, if you do a physical attack, it'll be a red number right here. So blue, uh, and just, just so that people understand if it's a physical attack or a magical attack. Now she has two abilities. She can do lightning or she can do fireball. It's all by pure randomness. So let's go ahead and begin fight. She's going to kill us in two hits anyways, because that's how I designed this fight, because you're supposed to lose this fight. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to do a fireball, which takes four MP. Shows me shooting the fireball. Bam, did seven damage. She did a lightning strike. Boom. Knocked me down to three HP. Did a seven total damage. So let's go ahead and just do a regular attack this time. Did three damage, took a little bit more. She decided to do two lightning bolts. So, but there is fire and then bam, it should come up with continue. And that is how you progress into uh, that. And it doesn't necessarily mean that there has to be only one enemy. How Green Arrow designed the coding. God bless him. Uh, I can have as many enemies as I want, but I probably won't go over two. I'm not even thinking I'm going to do three, but I could do three just because it, it'll each person's going to have to be right here, right here. And then I'll have to have images for whichever one is dead, all those kind of different combinations, that sort of number. So I'm probably going to limit it to like two is what I'm thinking. Anyways, I could just stick with one as well. So, I mean, it, the the possibilities are, are truly endless, especially with how uh, Green Arrow does his coding. But I think that is it on what... I, you know, it took me like probably nine months to a year to do what I just showed you that I just showed in like 12 minutes. But uh, the good thing is it's tied in. So now the hard part on a lot of this stuff is over. Uh, there is going to be dungeon crawling. There's going to be um, like a forge so you can buy all your gear, armor. And the forge is going to be Green Arrow, uh, the, the, the weaponsmith. And um, what else do I have? Uh, I'm thinking about adding a scheduler, as in, like, it tells you what time, where people are going to be at. I'm not sure how I'd implement that out to give it more thought. Um, my next things I'll be tackling will probably be catching some stories up to certain points to where I can add more stuff. I really do need to get to the point to where I can add items. I really need to get to the point to where my when you boot up, it's not just that blank thing that says Dragon Spire start load. I need to make that look all purdy and all that kind of stuff. But this is what I got so far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, hit the like, uh, hit the follow. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Take care, guys. Bye bye.